ይገርማል ብዙ ጊዜ ሀገሬ ውስጥ በማዘጋጃቸው የሬዲዮና ቴሌቪዥን ፕሮግራሞች ስማቸው በተደጋጋሚ አንስቻውአለው የኢካቲት 66ቱ ህዝባዊ አብዮት ከተከታተለ በኋላ በኢትዮጵያችን ፊት ለፊት ወደ መድረኩ ከመጡት ግንባር ቀደም የፖለቲካ አመራራ አባላት መካከል አንዱ ናቸው ባዮኬሚስት ባለጥቁር ቀበቶ ካራቲስት መሁርና ፖለቲከኛ ጥር 26 ሺህ 969 ህይወታቸው ያለፈው የወዝሊግ ፓርቲ መስራች ዶክተር ሰናይልኪ ነው ዛሬ ልጃቸው የምሽቱ የዘንድሮ ኢምፓክት አዋርድ ተሸላሚ ሆነ አለች ኦክላንድ ካሊፎርኒያ ቶልዳ ደግቹ ልጃችን በአሜሪካ የፊልም ኢንደስትሪ ውስጥ የራስዋን አሻራ ያኖረች ጥንቅ ቃለች ባለሙያናት ንግስት ሰናይ ለቄ My mother is African American mm -hmm. and my father is Ethiopian. But one thing I really appreciate about my mother, although she was Af she's African American is she said you must know your other side. You must know your African roots. Nigist Sanailike. Wede madra kunde ta I'm going to bother the ambassador again here to the stage so that we present the Impact Award plaque to our own, the wonderful film director, Negis Tlikay. I should have asked Mr. Dr. Henok to open it. Would you mind opening it and just showing to the audience what it may look like? I can help sure. you with that. Thank you. Thank you. Ambassador, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next, I'm going to invite Mayor Felicia to come to the stage and present the proclamation from the city. You want to say a few words? Uh, Dr. Enoch, I just wanted to say before I move on to the guest that we wanted to proclaim here in the city of New Carlton today your day. So, Niguest Leakey, on behalf of myself, Mayor, and the entire City Council and citizens here in New Carlton, we wanted to present to you the SEAL proclamation tonight. And just to say that here in the city of New Carlton today is also your day. And I'm proud of you to be a fellow woman. Thank you, Thank you Madam Mayor. Now we know whose turn it is, right? Vice Mayor Amy Jackson. A wonderful city that welcomed us with great hands and big support. City of Alexandria, where we staged our event yesterday, the Grand African Run, with a big turnout. Vice Mayor. Congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. So the proclamation from the City of Alexandria, whereas the Impact Award is an annual event showcasing the accomplishments and impacts of nominees who have committed to serving their community here in the United States and their home continent of Africa. Every year, one personality from the areas of sports, arts, I think that's you, and job creation is selected and their work is honored at the Impact Award. And whereas the 2022 Impact Award is the third event of its kind, recognizing six community members to date, adding to that this evening, and whereas for this year, we have Niges in recognition of her global impact through her films to promote culture and social issues. She is a positive role model for African youth 
And now, therefore, I, Amy Jackson, on behalf of Justin M. Wilson, Mayor of the City of Alexandria, Virginia, and on behalf of the Alexandria City Council, do hereby recognize and acknowledge the 2022 Impact Award and the 2022 Impact Award recipient, Nagesliki, in the City of Alexandria, and I call this observance to the attention of all citizens in witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Alexandria to be affixed the 16th day of October, 2022. Congratulations. Thank you, Vice Mayor. We appreciate it. Sure, you will. I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I'm going to invite Ali to come to the stage. We got one more from DC Mayor, a good friend of all of us and most of us. Ali. As a mayor of Washington, DC, it is a pleasure, a pleasure to honor Neges Like for your extraordinary accomplishment in film. Your skills and passion for making funny thought-provoking, award-winning movie, movies that are socially and culturally impacted. Impactful have entertained, informed, and inspired thousands worldwide. Your accomplishment as a director, screenwriter, producer, teacher, and mentor have made you a role model for young people of Ethiopian heritage and everyone who is privileged to have been touched by your outstanding work. On behalf of the nearly 700,000 residents of Washington, D.C., you have my sincere appreciation and best wishes for continued success. Mayor Muriel Bowser, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ali. And this is a present from our sponsor, Kafita. So, Dr. Enoch, I'll be coming back to you uh, after a guest that I'm going to invite next to say a few words in the city of New, New Carrollton, the day being named after you. I want to hear your feeling about that. But before I do that, niggas, do you want to say a few words? Yes. Please. Yes. So what I want to say, first of all, Dr. Gasho, thank you very much. Um, and I want to thank everybody here. It's, um, for me, it's not about me receiving an award. Um, it's about you guys, all of us here as Africans in the African community. I do what I do for Africans. Everybody here, every single person, including the people serving the food, has a dream. And so I'm here just as an inspiration to say when you come from nothing, whether you're an immigrant, I wasn't an immigrant, my father was, but I was born in an impoverished situation, what they call the ghetto, and I didn't have connections, I didn't have anything, I just had a dream. Every single person in here has a dream, and so I just wanted to inspire you to use that dream, never ever give up. We always hear never give up, but I really, really, really mean it. No matter what, you gotta be like, I'm willing to die for my dream. And for me, my dream was about unifying Africa, because growing up in America, in uh, impoverished community with a name like Niggas Like, <laughs> that sounds not like Niggas, it sounds like something else we know. I was teased, and I was teased by people who look just like me. Why? Because what they saw on TV, what they saw in the movies, was stuff that they could laugh at or pity or make fun of. I grew up in the projects in America, which was very poor, in the richest country in the world. And then I went to Ethiopia at age 10, and my family lived in like this huge house with lots of housemaids and drivers and all of that. And I was like, at 10, I could not come back to America and articulate to them what Africa was really like. Of course, we have some poverty, but we also have some amazing things. We have culture. And I'm not just saying this because I'm Ethiopian, but I'm just so proud to be Ethiopian because of all of the wonderful things about Ethiopia and Africa as well. But Ethiopia, I mean, to have your own written language is incredible. We have our own calendar. We have everything. We are not the photocopy. We are the original. <laughs> and so, in conclusion, 
Uh, I said, um, I didn't know I wanted to be a filmmaker at that age, but I knew I wanted to tell the world the truth about us and show us empowered and show us in a way that we are the original. And so when I decided after college that I wanted to go into film, I said, wow, that's what I need to do. I may not be the best filmmaker, but I know that I am going to show the real deal about Africa. So I haven't made an Ethiopian film yet, but this year, hopefully with Kadis <laughs> and some other filmmakers, I'll be in Ethiopia in 2023. We're putting us on the map internationally. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. And congratulations again. Thank you. Congratulations.